Welcome to CHEM2005. Today we will talk about oxazolones. Okay. Oxazolones basically have this structure. In this form, are not aromatic because this is a sp3. But when we are doing the conjugate acid, the conjugate base, sorry, we add a base, and what we do is remove this hydrogen. What we get. This is in equilibrium with his resonant form that we can draw it like this. Okay, and if you take a look. This resonant form is aromatic. That means that this proton, because we generate an aromaticity when it's removed, should be quite acidic. That means a weak base like triacetamine or basically any secondary or tertiary amine is able to deprotonate this high this oxazolone to generate this compound. Why is important? Because then what we are doing is generating a nucleophile and we can add an electrophile to, for example, generate this compound. And this is important because this is basically a uh, quaternary alpha amino acid. Basically, what the only that we need to do is to hydrolyze in, me in acid media, for example, and what we get is we can generate very easily quaternary amino acids quaternary alpha amino acids that are very important in medicinal chemistry. Okay? This is why oxazolones as as are important and this is the basic reactivity that we will give this course in oxazolones. How we can synthesize oxazolone? Well, basically to synthesize an oxazolone we start away from a, an amino acid. We have here an amino acid. Okay? And the first step always is to form an amide here. We are using an acid chloride, for example. Okay, and we add we have the we have the mind. And what when we have the mind, basically what we will do is clip this. There are several forms, several react reactions that lead to the oxazolone, but the most common is to add acetic and hydride. What is happening when we add acetic and hydrate is that what we form is this compound. We 
for the mixed and high rate, okay? Basically, what is happening is that this addition, elimination, and we generate the mixed and high rate. Once we have the mixed and high rate, basically what is happening is that this oxygen is attacking the mixed and high rate. This is like in the mixed and high rate, and what we get addition, okay, followed by elimination, and what we get is. This is how it's working. Basically, from the amino acid, we make an amide, and then we make the cyclization by using acetic and hydride that basically is forming the acid and hydride here, and intramolecular attack from the oxygen to form the five member ring, elimination, and then rearrangement of this double bond in order to get the oxazole. Okay. That's all what I want to explain about oxazolones. It's quite easy. Remember that are very useful compounds because we can do primary amino acids from them, primary quaternary amino acids. If we do the last addition chiral, we will get chiral amino acids. And the reason why it's easy to alkylate this position is because when we make the anion here, we generate a compound that is aromatic, that has one resonant form that is an aromatic, that means it's very stable, means that this hydrogen here in this position will be quite acidic. Okay? Thank you very much for your attention, and see you in the next lecture.